Hello friends, welcome to Airdrop Spot. So in this video, we are going to be discussing Frame. Frame is an Ethereum rollup and on Frame you can deploy your NFT project and enthusiasts can also have varieties of NFT projects to interact with. Frame is in its early stage so there is nothing much to do at this moment. You want to ensure that you stay updated for further updates from their team. So the first thing you want to do is to visit Chainlist and then you are going to add Frame Testnet to Metamask. I am going to have the link to the to chain list in the comment section for your convenience. So tap on approve. Then switch your network to frame testnet. Now we are going to get test tokens from the faucet and the first faucet we are going to be using is Sepolia faucet. So go to sepoliafaucet.com. Paste your wallet address, check the box, the capture box at the bottom and then tap on send me ETH and you are going to get 0.5 Sepolia ETH. Next we are going to frame faucet itself, however the faucet didn't work for me but it may be another experience on your end and even if it does not work for you just like it happened to me that's nothing to worry about, we can still go ahead with the testnet interactions. So here you are going to paste your wallet address. Then tap on request ETH. However, when I tapped on this, it kept telling me that I have requested uh, ETH before. And this is my first time of visiting this website today. So I was encountering this error. And if it happened to you, just let's move on with the next step. So we are going to be using frame bridge. We are going to frame.xyz slash bridge. Connect your wallet. Choose MetaMask. Tap on Next and tap on Connect. Then you are going to have to switch your network to Sepolia because that is where we'll be. We'll start our operation from. So you are going to be on the Deposit tab and you want to make sure that your sender chain is Sepolia Testnet and your receiver chain is frame testnet. Now you are going to indicate the amount of Sepolia ETH that you want to bridge to frame testnet. So I'll be bridging 0.25. Then tap on deposit. Tap on confirm. So depositing from Sepolia to Frame took about 3 minutes on my end. I had to pause the video and then come back after the 3 minutes was over. After 3 minutes, the transaction was successful and my funds have been deposited on Frame Testnet. Now you are going to switch over to the Withdraw tab. And then to withdraw from frame testnet back to Sepolia, you have to ensure that your wallet address is on the frame testnet. So you can see that it is the exact amount that I bridged to frame testnet. That is what I am having as my balance. So you are going to ensure that frame testnet is your sender chain this time and Sepolia testnet is your receiver chain this time. So indicate the amount of frame testnet that you would, frame ETH that you would like to bridge over to Sepolia ETH. Then tap on withdraw. Tap on confirm. Tap on confirm again. So the transaction has been sent to the blockchain and at this junction you are going to have to wait for about an hour or a little less than one hour for the transaction to be successful and that is when you can complete it. So I came back after one hour and then the transaction is almost successful. What is next now is that you are going to tap on claimable at the bottom of your screen. You can see claimable one. You are going to tap on it. Then tap on claim withdraw. Now you want to, the funds have been sent over to Sepolia, but you want to make sure that you claim it on the Sepolia network. So you are going to switch your network back to Sepolia. Then tap on claim withdraw again. Then you are going to confirm in your wallet. 
Tap on Confirm. Now the claiming is done and that means that the transaction has been completed. We are going to move over to the next item. They also have quests, so we are going to frame.xyz slash quests. There is only one available quest at the moment, but however, we are going to do it and then stay updated for new updates later. So they currently have two quests, but only one is available at the moment and that is bridging to frame. We have already done that. You don't need to do anything else at this stage. Just tap on that card and then tap on claim badge. To claim the badge, you would have to be on the frame test net this time. So tap on confirm. The claiming is successful and that gives you I think 10 points or 15 points, I don't know. So the second one is to mint a commemorative NFT, however, this quest has not yet started so we won't be able to mint at this time. If you tap on the card, you can see more details about it, but it has not yet started so we won't be able to claim at this time. Now you would have to stay updated with your you know with new updates and one way to do that is to join their discord server so i'm going to be having the link to their discord server pinned in the comment section as well for your convenience so here i'll be joining their discord server and i'll complete my verification you should also do the same so i'll tap on accept invite and I'll be completing my verification right here. So join the Discord server and stay tuned for more updates. We are still very early into this. There is so much more that needs to be done. Arbitrum Odyssey quest for week 6 will be live in some minutes from now and then the tutorial will be out on my channel at around noon tomorrow. So you want to make sure that you are subscribed to my channel so that when I release the video tomorrow, you'll be able to see it. If you have any questions about this tutorial, do drop me a comment in the comment section and even if it is about any other tutorial that we have done on this channel before. So if you have found value in any of my contents, don't forget to give me a like and also subscribe for more. Thank you for watching and I will see you in Arbitrum Odyssey week 6 tutorial tomorrow.